Among all the trainees I have taught at this level, Sumer ranks in the top 5% in, on overall performance. Sumer Chohan reads a letter of recommendation from a doctor who supervised him as a medical volunteer in the United States. That's the only way this Canadian-born graduate of a foreign medical school could get work experience. With the COVID-19 crisis placing heavy burdens on Canada's hospitals, he's asking why young doctors with foreign qualifications find it almost impossible to work in their own country. Many of us are qualified, very knowledgeable and skilled, and we don't want those skills and knowledge to go to waste. We want to use it to serve our country. Dr. Rafat Al-Aswad ran Baghdad's largest pediatric hospital, then worked in Muscat. He and his wife, a prominent dentist in both Iraq and Oman, came to Canada in 2013 to make sure their children had a stable future. Neither has been able to work. Rafat would have to retrain as a GP, which he can't afford to do, so he's driving for Uber to pay the bills. Instead of seeing an x-ray, I'm doing UberX. <laughs> so... Uh, the disaster. Anyhow, we have to support the family. Governments in Canada defer to medical licensing organizations, which maintain they have to be cautious about admitting doctors trained in other countries. But many say foreign training could also be an asset to Canadian health care. We should not forget that the people who actually get trained in foreign countries, they sometimes have even a bigger clinical uh, experience uh, because they get exposed to various infectious diseases that we would never see here in Canada. Ontario's medical licensing body told Al Jazeera it's looking into the issue but has yet to make any changes in its residency programs. One of Canada's most multicultural cities, Brampton, home to many currently unemployed foreign trained medical personnel, is leading one of many campaigns to usher more of them into the healthcare system. The infrequency of the tests and the lack of hospital residencies that are made to um, available to the foreign trained um, doctors. So we have over 1,700 doctors who passed all the tests, uh, but only 350 doctors actually got a residency last year. So that is a huge waste of human capital and potential. Experts say COVID-19 will continue to challenge the medical system here for months, possibly years, making the need for more frontline healthcare workers ever more acute. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Toronto.